Mrs. Corey Aquino. Hello, awardees. Dear friends and uh, some relatives and friends from Sorsogon. In 1957, I was 32 years old. So you know how old I am now. And working as the women's section editor of the leading daily newspaper of the Philippines. On March 17th of that year, the Philippines were shocked by the news that our president, Ramon Magsaysay, had died in a plane crash near Cebu City. The mystery behind that crash has never been solved. Although everyone suspected that President Magsaysay was killed because someone thought he was too good and too effective in making the Filipino realize that the common man had a shining value. All we know was that someone had put a bomb in a crate of Cebu mangoes that was loaded into that plane. Soon after, the plane flew over Mount Manangal in Cebu. It exploded, killing everyone in it except for one newspaper man. Whoever planted that bomb did not foresee the reaction of the Rockefeller family of philanthropists to the loss of a beloved and effective president of the Philippines. The Rockefellers were convinced that the legacy of Ramon Magsaysay should not be forgotten and that his exemplary life should be celebrated forever. They proposed, through a generous grant, the perpetuation of his precious ideals. And so, since 1958, the Magsaysay Award has made Ramon Magsaysay live again, not only in his own country, but all over Asia. The other day, Senator Ramon Magsaysay Jr. called us all, the awardees, a disturbing presence, which I felt as a journalist is a perfect description of the awardees, except me. To date, Magsaysay's ideals live in 240 men and women in Asia who all have a disturbing presence that echo his qualities in government service, public service, community leadership, journalism, literature, and creative communication arts, peace and international understanding, and emergent leadership. That I should be chosen as one of these men and women was far from my wildest dreams. I shall never agree with anyone saying that I am worthy of this award. But there is one aspect of it that I welcome with open arms, the money that goes with it. <laughs> Not because I need the money for myself. I am lucky that my late husband left me enough for my own needs but because the award money, 2.53 million pesos, by the latest conversion rate, <laughs> will go a long way in helping the education revolution, which the Foundation for Worldwide <laughs> People Power. This revolution I launched three years ago. This foundation, which commemorates the people power we call EDSA 1 and EDSA 2, is our hope in moving Filipinos away from poverty. We go to the schools and help our Department of Education become better qualified and more effective at character formation. So that our children will grow from little mountains into wonderful and heroic citizens like Ramon Magsaysay. I thank you. <laughs>